We're going to use Gaussian elimination to solve this system of linear equations, and as we'll see, it has exactly one solution. We have to begin by writing the augmented matrix for the system, and that looks like this. On the left, we have the coefficients of our three variables. The first column consists of the coefficients of x1, then the coefficients of x2, and then the coefficients of x3. You can see this, for example, 1, negative 2, negative 7. 1, negative 2, negative 7. On the right, separated from the coefficients, are the constants from the right side of the equation. Now we'll perform Gaussian elimination on this augmented matrix in order to solve the system. In row 1, our leading entry is already positive 1, which is exactly what we want. But then we have to introduce zeros below that leading 1. So to do that, we'll do two things. We'll add row 1 to row 2, that way this negative 1 will become a 0, and we'll subtract 3 copies of row 1 from row 3, that way this positive 3 will become a 0. So in row 2, we have negative 1 plus 1, which is 0, negative 2 plus 1, which is negative 1, 3 plus 2, which is 5, and 1 plus 8, which is 9. In row 3, we have 3 minus 3 times 1, which is 0. Then we have negative 7 minus 3 times 1, which is negative 10. Then 4 minus 3 times 2, which is negative 2. And then 10 minus 3 times 8, so negative 14. All right, our leading entry in row 1 is positive 1, and we've got zeros below that. Now we want to change the leading entry in row 2 from negative 1 to positive 1. So we'll multiply row 2 by negative 1. And that gets us here, just negating everything in row 2. Now we want to introduce zeros below this leading one. So we'll add 10 copies of row 2 to row 3 so that this negative 10 will become a 0. So adding 10 copies of row 2 to row 3, we get here. Now the last row has negative 52 and negative 104. We want this leading entry to be positive 1, so we'll just have to multiply row 3 by negative 1 over 52. Multiplying row 3 by negative 1 over 52 gets us here to this row echelon form matrix. We've now completed Gaussian elimination and we can finish solving the system. Let's quickly write the equations represented by this augmented matrix. Row 1 tells us that x1 plus x2 plus 2x3 equals 8. Row 2 tells us that x2 minus 5x3 equals negative 9. And row 3 tells us simply that x3 equals 2. So now we're doing what's sometimes called back substitution. Working backwards from x3 equals 2, we can plug that into the above equation to solve for x2, and then plug that into the above equation to solve for x1. So if x3 equals 2, Plugging that into this equation, we would have that x2 minus 10 equals negative 9, so adding 10 to both sides, we get that x2 equals 1. But if x2 equals 1 and x3 equals 2, we can plug that into the first equation to get that x1 plus 1 plus 2 times 2, which is 4, must equal 8. And so x1 would equal 8 minus 4 minus 1, so x1 equals 3. And we've solved the system. The one solution is x1 equals 3, x2 equals 1, and x3 equals 2. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Linear Algebra course and Linear Algebra Exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about. Stressed out, honey, I've been stressed out lately. Don't know what's what, don't know what I'm stressed about. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about.